How's it going, man? Good. How are you doing today? Good. Doing doing great. I'm, uh, I'm glad you uh, were able to get together to do this little uh, case study on, on Midway. Yeah, absolutely. I'm appreciative of what you guys have done for Midway. So I figured it makes sense to jump on and answer any questions you have. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. So you can share as much or as little as you like. I'm just going to ask three, three questions. So okay. the first one is, what was it like before you signed up with us? Um, you know, I would say one of the top reasons I ended up signing up was it's very difficult to conduct operations in a bowling alley, especially uh, with modern staffing issues and everything that's come up uh, to be able to re be rest assured that all my social media is done properly, um, all my marketing, all my design work. It's stuff that, you know, bowling alley employees generally are not good at. Uh, Right. You'll rarely find somebody who's a good pin chaser and a good web designer. So to be able to outsource all that uh, to a third party has been a huge weight off my shoulders. It's been a huge weight off the team's shoulders. Um, and, and people who are good uh, with things such as in-house pictures and stuff, it's really nice that we can bold up to each other and uh, be able to um, – work with one another it's not just cut and dry so it's it's been a, a nice addition yeah no absolutely um second question is what kind of results have you guys gotten since uh signing up with us since we started um i could contribute uh at least a quarter million in revenue to the services wow. you guys provided for a year yeah. yeah um so boil that down to about twenty thousand a month uh, now we did significant renovations and top line was really the catalyst that allowed that to occur. Cause you know, when I first started before you guys, you know, one area I dumped quarter million dollars into the bar, uh, and first day I opened and no one knew I'd done anything. So <laughs> it was just one of those things where mm -hmm. spent all that money and, uh, in modern day, it's not just word of mouth. If you're not getting in front of people on their phones and they're actually experiencing uh, a visual of what you've done or what you continue to do, you go to the back of their mind and you're not uh, you're not the first place they think about uh, when they're looking to have fun. You know, if they're searching online, what do we do? It's rainy. Uh, if you're not popping up, they're not going there. If there's not good pictures, good reviews, good, uh, good social, um, the customer will forget about you very quickly. Uh, and, and the age old thing, like when my grandfather ran this center, uh, you open the door and people would show up. They knew you built a bowling alley. People mm -hmm. bowled every week. They signed up for a league and they'd always come in, but that's time of the past. You, right. you really need to, uh, if you're going to get open play and you're going to get birthday parties and you're going to track down events, um, you need to be doing an outbound initiative, chasing them down, not just hoping they're going to show up and walk through your door. They will, but uh, not that many, not nearly the amount of people you need to sustain a healthy business model in today's age. Yeah. So you're saying the, uh, the old field of dreams doesn't hold up anymore. If you build it, they're not going to come. Unfortunately, that is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to agree. Yeah. Um, so then... Uh, the last question, number three, is just what would you say to someone who's on the fence about signing up with us? Somebody's on the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I can even say when I first started, I was a little reluctant because uh, quite honestly, most companies that are involved with marketing, it's a lot of fluff. And they're like, oh, well, you know what you need to do? You need to do social media. And it's like, well, no shit. That's the whole reason I called you. Um, so what's nice is Topline really does a good job of execution. Uh, and that's something I was worried about, but I can confidently say that, you know, if I have an issue or something needs done, you guys get it done. And uh, to have a team at your fingertips to do any work that needs to be accomplished on a business development front, on a branding front, on a printing front. I mean, it's really improved the uh, operations and, and brand image. I mean, you can even see in the background, uh, everything's midway branded now. That was all designed by Topline. It's all provided by Topline. And uh, without that extra touch, you know, you, you start to fall apart and you're not just a cohesive brand with a consistent brand image, both in the physical and digital world. Uh, so I would say if you're on the fence, 
I'd strongly advise to give it a shot. And the other thing is uh, we've never had to sign a contract and I don't think they make anybody sign a contract. So the fact that you can just uh, start it and stop it uh, as needed is, is also a huge win that, you know, say you do it for a couple months and uh, you know, it's just not working out or, you know, you, you don't have the money anymore. You're not locked into some three year contractual binding service that's, that's never ending. So it's a very low level of commitment. Uh, other than the monetary amount. And after several months, if you don't see a return, I would be shocked because it's worked great for us. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, we want to prove ourselves every month. That's why we keep it like that. It's a good model. All right, man. Well, that's all I have. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, look forward to catching up sometime soon. Awesome. We have a great day. And uh, anything else you need, just let me know. Will do. Thanks, man. Thank you.